Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Weekly Manny's. We do this every week. However, this week I got to a lot of polishes. A lot of polishes. I mean, not like a ton, but a lot more than I typically do. I was having a lot of fun with nail polish. I didn't get to nail stamping, which was and is one of my goals for this month to do a lot more nail saving. But nonetheless, I'm using the polishes in my collection, so I'm excited about that. So let's get started. The first one is one that I've had my eye on for a long time. This is from Noodles Nail Polish, and it is near, far, wherever you are. I remember seeing this last year. It came out for PolishCon 2017. I was new to indies. I didn't understand uh, how fast they go. And so I put off picking this one up and then one day it was not on the site. So for about a year now, I've been looking for this in D-stashes. I finally came across a D-stash that had this and I I grabbed it. I got I sent them a message so quick uh, and thankfully they still had it. So this is a mint. It's a very pale mint, but it has rose gold and gold glitter in different sizes. This is so pretty and I think it's so unique. I haven't seen other brands come out with a combination like this. It just it, it just really is pretty and the formula is good too. This one was a two coater. The next many that I wore incorporated two polishes. The first one was Orly's Vintage. This is like a kind of like a, a dingy neon green. I don't know, it's really muted. And then I topped it off with Sally Hansen's Diamond Strength uh, in I'll Be There. This was a gift to me last year from Rebecca. I really want glam polishes, naughty cool. Uh, however, there's a back order right now and I think it's like a three week back order. I feel really impatient. I don't know why, but I feel so impatient. So I was rummaging through my collection to see if I can kind of come up with something that would remotely be similar to that. I don't know that I achieved it with these two polishes, but the result that I ended up with, I adore. It looks so good. It's so hard to capture on camera, but it looks so good. I will say though, I don't know if it was the Orly or if it was the Sally Hansen, but I did end up with bubbles and I tried multiple times to like fix that issue, but I just couldn't. So I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys have some tips. Maybe I need to put thinner in this. This next one is so pretty. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but this is Hughes Blues from Finger Paints. I picked this up at Sally's. This is a purple jelly. It leans a little bit more on the blue side and it has iridescent glitter in there. It is packed with those glitters. Uh, this did require three coats for me, but I'm just blown away by it. I am so blown away by this. I cannot believe a mainstream brand came out with a polish like this. This looks just like an indie polish. I'm considering doing a video on that. If anybody's interested, let me know. This one would definitely be included in it. A while back, I went to TJ Maxx and I came across Frenchie Likes to Kiss. This is a pale lilac and it has a pink shimmer in there. I wasn't gonna pick up any of the polishes from the Grease collection. I thought that they came out with good polishes for that theme. I just think that all of the polishes were basic. I didn't realize that Frenchie Likes to Kiss has this strong pink shimmer in there though. So given that it was TJ Maxx, only $3.99, I thought I'd take it home and give it a try. The shimmer doesn't show up on the nail, which unfortunately isn't all that surprising. It seems like a lot of mainstream brands are coming out with this contrasting shimmer, but then it never shows up. So it doesn't show up on the nail. The formula was as expected a three coater. This is such a light polish, so that wasn't too surprising. Overall, I feel a little bit meh about it. Uh, would I pay $4 for it again? Probably, I think it's a really pretty color, um, but I'm glad I didn't pay the full price at what? What, are, what is OPI running nowadays? Like $10, $10.50? I don't think that I would pay that much for this. And finally, the last polish that I got to this week is from Moonshine Manny. This is, whoa, I like mom's new job. I think this was a part of the Incredibles collection. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the that's the collection this one came from. This is a gray. It has a green shift. It has an orangey shift, maybe a gold shift. I don't know. There's a lot going on in here. The formula on this is great as to be expected. I have been on a gray kick lately, so if anybody has any gray polish recommendations, please let me know because I've realized I think I only have one true gray polish. I'm looking for cream, so if anybody has any recommendations, let me know. But that is all that I wore this week. Finally, we're at the end of the video. That is what I wore. I had a lot of fun with polishes this week. If you wanna share with me what you wore, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.